right, what's good, what's good, man? Let's get into it. So, let's talk about Luka Doncic, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got a lot of Luka haters, well, not a lot of Luka haters, people who love Luka, who hate on me, you know what I'm saying, my haters, you know, coming at me about Luka Doncic. You know, first of all, I want to say, I don't hate Doncic. I think he's a good player. You know, I, I think he, you know, he can cook any team on any dime. I do, I, I kind of do think, you know, he, you know, how can I put it? I do think he kind of stab pads a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, Luka, he cooks, bro. For a guy who's not that athletic, his skills and, you know, the way how he can get a bucket is amazing. It's beyond amazing. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So, I don't hate Dodgers, so let's get this out the way. But y'all need to chill with this LeBron James comparison. It's not even It's not even a close second. Not even a close second. And shout out to my boy Valley. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's watching or not. Shout out to my boy Val, uh, the uh, president of the LeBron James Club, even though he's about to get impeached soon. For this blasphemy, he'd be saying, but you know, shout out to my boy. I don't know if he's watching or not, but uh, not only him. I mean, I saw it before him, and I was kind of was I was like, why are people comparing LeBron? But he was saying like LeBron and uh, Luca. You know, Luca's two point. I'm like, bro, y'all gotta chill. You gotta chill with this. Luca is nowhere near LeBron. That's not me saying he's a bad player. He's an amazing player. He's. I mean, you can make the case he's probably the best player. Uh, in the playoffs right now. I mean, it's between him and Tatum, and, you know, uh, Tatum has his flaws. I mean, Luke has his flaws, too, but Tatum has his flaws. And, I mean, I've never seen Tatum mm, – I mean, I guess, you could, I guess you could say the Sixers last year and a few other games, but I, I never see Tatum dominate uh, – a team how, like, Luka dominated the Suns and dominated uh, the Wolves that he's doing right now. You know what I'm saying? As Lucas talking smack to uh, Snoop Dogg as I'm watching it right now. So, you know, it is what it is. But LeBron James is on a whole – it's not even close, bro. LeBron, smarter, more athletic, better – you know, he better in shape, more clutch, better passing, above the rim, not even close. I'm, 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 I'm trying to tell you. LeBron James with the Cavs, whether he was a rookie or, uh, you know – his second stint with the Cavs. Luka's nowhere near that. You think Luka could have carried that 2018 Cavs team with J.R. Smith and who, who else do they have? Uh, who else do they have on that team? My gosh. George Hill and Tristan Thompson. Was he on that team? Uh, was Kyle Korver on that team? Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Why am I forgetting this team, yo? This is how, this is how bad they are. I remember J.R. Everybody remembers J.R. being on that team. Everybody remembers George Hill, too. Oh, my gosh. I can't remember who was. Was, J, was Jay Crowder on that? Was Jay Crowder on that team? I don't I don't know. But this it was it was LeBron and, as, as my co-host CEO would say, it's LeBron and a bunch of misfits, okay? And we saw what happens to the misfits in the finals. You think Luka right now currently could have carried that uh, Cavs team to the finals? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Nah, man, I'm not trying to hear that. And LeBron James with the Heat, you can forget about it. Look, I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. LeBron James with the Miami Heat is the greatest player in the 2010s that I've ever seen. Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Giannis, Nikola Jokic, uh, Kawhi Leonard, who else? Dirk Nowinski, Kobe before his ACL tour, Tim Duncan before he retired. Can't compare to uh, LeBron James with the Heat. Offensively and defensively, people forget. Listen, LeBron James with the Cavs was great offensively. And and, uh, smart, like just his wisdom-wise, amazing. But his defense, once again, LeBron was older with the Cavs at this point, so he really wasn't playing that much defense until it got around playoff time and stuff. So I'm not going to really knock him for that. But LeBron James with the Heat from when he was 27 to 31 with the Heat, with the Heat offensively and defensively, wasn't even comparison, bro. Ain't nobody can compare to that, especially Luka Doncic. Like LeBron, like Luka, you know, he's a good player. I'm not going to knock him for that. He's amazing, but to compare him to LeBron? How many MVPs has he won? Like LeBron was winning MVPs. Bro, LeBron James was winning MVPs as a rookie 
with the Cleveland Cavaliers. When he was when those Cleveland Cavaliers were way worse than the 2018 Cleveland Cavaliers. Go look up some of those teams he had in 2007-2008 with uh what's his name? Oh my gosh. He had obviously everybody knows Delonte West. He had a washed up Shaq. He had Eric Snow who was washed up. He had uh who else did he have? Who's that? Who's that Russian center he had? I can't pronounce his name. The ball white guy. Ball right Russian. Anybody who knows him uh, knows who I'm talking about. That's who he was carrying. You think Luka could have carried that team to that 07 uh, finals? With, it washed up Eric Snow? With uh, who, who else? With Delonte West banging his mom, allegedly. You think Luka could have done that? Stop overrating Luka. Just stop, bro. Just stop. If he wins this finals, that... Pff, I mean, shoot, if he wins his finals, he's probably, yeah, I'll say he's the best player in the league, uh, either him or Nicole Jokic, so, you know, it is what it is there. But, I mean, listen, he's nowhere near LeBron. LeBron, IQ-wise, f- physicality-wise, above the rim, post-game, passing, IQ, clutchness, the a willing the willing behavior to, win, to uh, carry a team. Defense, not even close. To stay, I mean, I don't think Luka has any problems staying healthy, but to stay in shape, I'll say LeBron in his prime. Come on, man. Come on, bro. What are we talking about, man? What are we talking about, bro? I mean, bro, like LeBron James, just like honestly, bro, LeBron James defensively smokes Luka. One of the greatest defensive plays in the 2010s was him blocking uh, Iguodala. Has Luka ever had a chase down block? Has Luka ever had a block his whole career? You know what I'm saying? And also, I see now I will say this. Luka has mm, how can I say this? I never seen Luka's back against the wall. You know what I'm saying? I never seen Luka's back against the wall because usually he dominates the teams that he plays. You know what I'm saying? But I seen LeBron. In 2012, yes, 2012, when they beat OKC, down 3-2 to the big uh, three in uh, uh, in Boston and dominate that whole team, literally, literally dominate that whole team, down 3-2, and this is coming off of 2011, the choke job, down 3-2, LeBron dominated. And then cooked them in Miami the next uh the next game. And then won that finals. I never seen Lucas back against the wall. I mean, I'm really trying to think. I never, yeah, throughout the I'm talking about the playoffs specifically. I know he lost to the Clippers in 2020. He beat Mitch. I know the 2022 year where he beat Donovan Mitchell. He beat uh the Suns. I mean, Golden State. I mean, he his back wasn't really against the wall in that series. He missed the playoffs last year. Who did they play in 2021? Was it the Clippers again? Or did they even make the playoffs in 2021? The year after the bubble, did they make the playoffs? I'm drawing a blank. I don't remember off the top of my head. If they did make the playoffs, they had to be, you know, second round exits. You know, it is what it is. But, yo, listen, man. Luka is nowhere near LeBron. Y'all better stop disrespecting LeBron. Wait, listen. Yeah, y'all can hate LeBron, whatever, but y'all better disrespect LeBron, man. But it is what it is, man. That's my thoughts. What are yours? RJ out. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.